And as the flood water threatens the inner parts of the city of Bangkok, our reporter Pa Nuk Wong Cha Um takes a look at how the city, once known as the Venice of the East, is handling the current crisis. More in this report. Far from being the gentle waves commonly associated with Thai beaches, the water menace that for months has plagued the Thai north and central plain has unceremoniously reached inner Bangkok, turning many of its roads into waterways. This bird's eye view of the city on Ratchadapisek Road was shot from the helipad of the Japraya Park Hotel, a landmark frequently mentioned in the past couple of weeks in the Thai media as the borderline between wet and dry Bangkok. The business operator here feels that the hotel has been unfairly and prematurely used as flood marker, with some media outlet reporting a week ago that a hotel has already been submerged, while up until now, the hotel itself and access to and from it remain fairly dry. The story of misinformation is not uncommon during the current Thai flood, and the failure to communicate accurate information by concerned authorities and the media is a major challenge that needs to be overcome at this critical juncture. And I think that we wish to see the, the, the government or the BMA to be more, uh, give uh, the understanding to all the people that we'll, we, we can learn and we can understand what is the real, what is the fact, and, and we can solve the problem and we can face the problem in the future. Beyond the issue of communication, the city officials, the police, the army and volunteers are hard at work in evacuating people in flooded and risk areas via trucks and boats. ครับทางสนสุริศาสตร์ก็ได้จัดรถนะก็เป็นรถส่วนตัวนะครับก็เอามาช่วยกันขนขนขนคนออกอยู่ครับผม I'm standing at the Suisan Ripaudi intersection and behind me is the flooded part of the Ripaudi Rangsit Road the main highway from the Don Mueang Airport leading into inner city Bangkok The authority hopes to halt the water here in the next couple of weeks and drain the water to sea to the Bangsu Canal Klong Bangsu or Bangsu Canal is a narrow waterway that cut through several districts of inner Bangkok and since the flood has crept through the inner city, this waterway and its pumping stations have become strategic in draining water to the sea, along with other notable canals like Klong Prem Prasha and Klong Sam Sen. A large amount of rubbish needs to be cleared regularly to keep the water from flowing uninterrupted down these small canals into the Japraya River. At the exit point of the Bangsu Canal to the river, a pumping station operated by the Department of Drainage and Sewage of the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration have been running non-stop since water reaches Bangkok. Its 17 water pumps have all been running 24-7 for three weeks straight, even though the officials say each pump should be turned off after operating for eight hours in normal circumstances in order to prevent the machine from overheating. Each of these pumps can drain three cubic meters of water per second, and fixing each pump only takes several hours depending on the available parts. And the staff here say that if more than one pump stop operating, the water level in the canal and consequently in inner Bangkok will rise substantially in a short period of time. Further, the electronic circuits controlling these pumps have been overheating due to its non-stop operation, prompting regular checkup by concerned agencies. In some instances, regular fans are used as a way to cool down these electronic control boards. Manned by a staff of nine who operate a 24-hour shift, the staff of this pumping station have been working tirelessly, coordinating with other local agencies in keeping the 17 pumps in operation. It should also be mentioned that the homes of some of these officials working here have already been consumed by the flood. Time will tell whether the draining system of Bangkok will be sufficient in coping with the huge amount of flood water currently threatening the Thai capital. But already the tenacity of many of its individuals on the ground is a saving grace to many failings in the country that this flood has brought to bear. I'm Panu Wong Sha-um of Thai News Agency reporting for RCN TV from Bangkok.